Kaunas, Lithuania, he weighed in at 146 and one half pounds. One half pounds, his record stands at 14 wins, no losses. One Ten years after they fought for a second time in the amateurs, both fights in whatsoever because he was in great shape, but it just goes to show you the magnitude of this fight. He felt that Jamal James tired out, and that's where Butayev was able to take advantage. He felt to respond back, but I find it to be interesting that at least in the first jab, that jab is snapping a lot to Butayev, and that's one way to stop that press chin is going to hold up throughout this entire fight. Good stiffens Butayev. That was inadvertent, mind you. One of their primary weapons of choice. Find a moment. And stopping the forward pressure of Radza Butayev, the champion. Yeah, I'm not going to back down. I'm willing to stand here in the center of the ring. And if you think you're going to bully me and use your physicality. And I think Butayev is the perfect dance partner for him. And likewise, for Butayev. not easy when a fighter is consistently using their physicality in your face. For Stanionis. Good right hand from Stanionis into the ring. He's just relying on his mental pressure and physical pressure to eventually... Stanionis is seeming to beat Butayev to the punch. Butayev is, and he's always in a position to throw. That's one of the things about Stanionis. That apartment. So going back to your point, Miguel. So far, especially in the Al Butayev, look, I'm going to be here all night long. I'm not going. Butayev has missed quite a few shots thus far, but Stanionis. Butayev, another one. Four right hands by Stanionis, and then he unloads a combination. A right hook to and it very well could have an effect on Stanionis if Butayev continues to focus in. Stanionis right now seems to be a different beast with his jab just snapping. And right now that's bad intentions written behind it. And there's a big right hand that both men. That just goes to show you, Miguel, how close the arm when it comes to the power punches thrown and landed. Come down to whose chin's going to hold up. Well, Stanionis got Stanionis more. Castanionis again using that sneaky jab as we're coming up on the midway point of our fourth round. Yonis. Butayev not moving his eyes on a lot of his just brute power, his physicality, and the pressure. You know, the body probably thinking, okay, he really isn't too technical. Not on the opposite side. He is very technical. Well, we'll see what happens as we endeavor into round five and... So Stanion is focusing in on the head. And if Butea continues to focus in on the body. But there are these little battles inside the ring aside from the big battle, right? So there was a moment up here at AT&T Stadium as we are getting into the midway point of the shots from Stanionis. It's certainly scoring points for Stanionis. And there's that left hand that threw bigger, more authoritative shots. But I will say Butayev is coming on. I mean, I think this fight is getting close. Final moments of the fifth. Five of 145 for a 38% connect percentage. Stanion is 48 of one. Significant on Stanionis. Stanionis makes it a point to deliver two to three shots right after. Particular vantage point as of right now. I think it might have been from the clash of heads. It could be Stanionis. Again, Rafael Ramos separates them. Left hook connecting first, Stanionis, but back to the moment. This is what Stanionis... Left hook's been finding a home for Stanionis. He has landed it three or four times here in this... The punch is coming, the problem. He's in the pocket, and he's getting lit up with two or three punches out. And jabs here in the fight. You see that Butayev, 11 of... Butayev plodding forward, a right hook to the body by Butayev. Add that here in the second half of this fight if he's starting to target the body. That gives Butayev so much more to think about. This is the first time I've seen Butayev fight backwards. See if I can find some openings because it's not working. My plan A is not working right now over the course of time. Yeah, it was almost to the point in that fight where we were thinking, hey, you can stop it at any point here. Now, is Danionis a one-punch knockout artiste? No. In his hands to bother you. And I think that's what's happening. Great, 23% connect percentage. Meantime for Stanion is 22 of 50. And I think Butayev now is trying to find the second gear and you're starting to see him 
I think, these tactics to bother and halt the momentum of Stanionis. Stanionis looking at Ra referee Rafael Ramos as he was punched off the break there. These, some of these tactics, Butaev is really making it a point here in round eight. And I think it okay, I had a game plan A, and right now game plan A didn't work. I go to game plan B, now that's illegal. Absolutely, and you see Stanionis, that, he was frustrated there. Nine. Absolutely. And I think Stanionis certainly 224, a 7% connect percentage. Stanionis, 57. Has blood dripping from the nose, so you wouldn't, it what doesn't appear that Stanionis would be. Go, 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 go. They want him to start to really put together, entered this ring. And I'll be honest, coming into this fight, Miguel, you and I both talked about it. And, it and there was a big body shot from Butea, but Stanionis right there answered with a huge right hand. Gonna have to change that up. And send it to the dry cleaners. I don't even know if that'll work. <laughs> Two to three shots. Beautiful left hook to the body by Stanionis. Miguel Dishon's already once this, when we heard this fight was made. Well, here's a request. Can I have some more? We got 524 for a 21% connect percentage. Stanion is 169 of four at ninth round, but there you see him trying to pick it up, and that could have just been a factor of, all right, I need... Man taking a step backwards at the moment. And there's That's a big right hand. hand. That's Dagger. That's in their fight, and he really couldn't do much to move Butayev off of this point. Stanion is landing more. And he's the more minute left here in the 10th. Right hand connecting for Stanionis. Had it earlier in the fight. Final stages of the 10th. It's got to go to the 11th we go. That would lend us to believe that he's down on the scorecards as we believe he is. Stanionis has controlled this fight and has looked and gotten the better of Butayev. At that, Miguel, I mean, let's be honest. We're looking at him right now here at ringside. Both of his eyes are distorting tactics that right in the back of the head. But I got to tell you, Stanionis has one of the best cut men in the business. And now Stanionis backing up. This is the most weary leg that I've seen. booing right now. But Butayev, that's that's the risk you take when you... And that could be significant. Theoretically, that might have clinched Stanionis, the world... And there's a oh left hand goodness. that's done, Butai. What a war that we've had here at AT&T Stadium here in Arlington, Miguel. Absolutely. Now we are seeing none other than Radza Butayev go. He just has to rely on possibly catching him with the shot, but right now Stanionis still. Who are a Montez Stanionis. And this may be the fight that will elevate Stanionis. And there's a big left hand. To the masses, we knew that he was really good. But this is the fight to say, guess what? Throwing like we have a gun fight at the OK Corral for crying out loud. The leather. Regardless of if he relinquishes his title, I want to say honest, a right hook. What a chin Butayev has. He almost went into the new WBA Walter Wade champion of the world. I'm on top.